What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. All right, guys. <laughs> I, I just wanted to talk about Ashley from Real Housewives of Potomac because clearly at least at this point in time, she has no intentions of getting actually divorced. And the marriage we know definitely was a marriage of not just convenience, because this was a marriage for her to level up immensely, right? Because what she was a server, I I believe, or a bartender. And one of Michael's bars or restaurants and that's how she met him you know look to each your own how you come up is how you choose and however that person allows you to come up off of them is up to them right but we know Michael has been a creep he's been a weirdo and she has accepted that because that has what um that definitely is what she has had to accept in order to be able to live the lifestyle that she wanted to live and she knew that she was going to have at least one kid if you've been watching Real Housewives of Potomac all of these seasons and you've seen her address this you remember she said before she had any kids she said there's going to be a Darby baby like she was adamant that she was going to have a baby because she knew that was what was going to secure at least one check But a lot of people were surprised at the last reunion. Even her fellow cast members were surprised that she wasn't entitled to any alimony, really much of anything when it comes to the prenuptial agreement. But even though Ashley might be, she might be smart. I wouldn't say she's dumb, but I just believe that Michael was a whole lot smarter than her. (laughs) He might be a creep, but he didn't become wealthy from being an idiot, right? So he knew what he was doing and he was protecting all of his assets. He was not going to allow this little bimbo to come into his life and to take everything that he has, he has earned or he's gained. I don't really know what his background is, so I'm not going to say everything that he worked hard for because he very well may have worked hard for it because I don't know that. I'm not going to give him the credit because a lot of people like him, they come from wealthy backgrounds, so a lot of what they have, they got from the people that they knew or they were related to or whatever, so I'm not going to give him that credit. But he may have. I just don't know, so I'm not going to just give him that blindly. But listen, Ashley, she is living separate and apart from him. And I just believe that they're just going to stay married and live separately. Because to be honest with you, it would be more beneficial for her to stay married to him. Because how old is Michael? How how old is he? So... He's got more years behind him than he has ahead of him. And no, I know tomorrow isn't promised to anyone. So honestly, not speaking anything on anyone, but she could lose her life before he does because no one really knows what tomorrow or even today may bring. So, but I'm just basically saying that based on her actions she got the house that she wanted the two million dollar home and he has a key to the house she's living separate and apart from him but she's not divorcing him look she's like it's a recession (laughs) this mortgage is expensive and he is on the mortgage and that gives me the security i don't believe she's ever going to divorce this man and i don't really care But I'm just basically saying because I feel like her filing for divorce was a storyline. But I honestly believe that they have an agreement that they will just stay married. 
he can play and have his fun and do his thing. Because you remember she admitted to doing threesomes with him and things like that. But after she had her first child, her feelings started to change and she didn't really want to live that life anymore. And even Mia said to Ashley, I think it was on the last reunion that she said, look, I got with my husband doing things like that. So I couldn't change what he was used to because that wouldn't be fair because that's the person that he got. And so my personal opinion is that Ashley is going to stay married to him and allow him to expire. (laughs) And then being his wife, I, I don't really know like what he has in his will, but I find it hard to believe that she wouldn't be gaining something. I'm not saying that she would gain his entire empire because I'm quite sure if he had in the prenuptial agreement that she wasn't really entitled to anything, that he has some language in the will probably the same way. And you can update your will at any point in time. You could have your will done today and then get it changed tomorrow if you wanted to. But, and um, I'm saying that I believe also with her being the wife and wills being able to be challenged depending on when the last will was done she could possibly challenge it hold it up in probate you know if he has other family or whatever or if he wrote in his will that he wants to leave everything to some kangaroo in australia or something like that she could be able to challenge it but she's still being messy ashley Now, if you watch this latest episode, you saw where she invited this new housewife over who she says is a friend, Eneka, and then they showed clips of Ashley out with Eneka, and she was having a conversation about Wendy with Eneka, but in my personal opinion, I don't really feel that Eneka was being messy about Wendy. I feel that she was just answering Ashley's questions. Ashley was the one with the messy questions and Aneka was just answering her in general terms, but she wasn't saying anything about Wendy's family and background and how she is an outcast in Nigeria and, and all this other stuff about the different tribes and all of that. But Ashley brought it to Wendy in a messy way and I don't even know why Wendy does this or or did this, I should say, because you always have to (laughs) consider the source. And she knows how messy that Ashley is. So it's like, why would she just immediately off the jump believe the things that Ashley was saying to her that Aneka was saying was how it actually went down? And it's sad because when they first met, like the first initial meetup with Wendy and Aneka at the table, which, yeah, could be superficial, but I'm just basically saying it definitely could have been a great match or a great team up because to see what I think is the case right now Aneka being like on the team more so of Giselle and Robin I really think is weird because when we've seen how Giselle and Robin have treated Wendy over these past few seasons I feel that Aneka should be team Wendy but again also sometimes when you have those similarities sometimes those can be a deterrent to people connecting, but Ashley was just being messy. And so I'm like, why, Wendy? Why are you believing this girl? She is a miserable person, even though she's living in this $2 million house now and she got the two kids, so she's got her guaranteed child support and whatever, but she is a miserable per- miserable person, so she's going to be messy when it comes to stuff like this and I just really was like no Wendy don't believe the hype don't believe Ashley because I don't understand why even though at first 
Wendy started in having a conversation with her about how you have, you know, she was like, you could be a trip sometimes, but honestly, you have, you know, you've been a good friend. And I'm like, girl, you don't know who you're speaking to. Yes. Listen, it's got a little Play-Doh on it. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's so hard for no, you to keep up with your Play-Doh. No, no. How are you? First of all, yes, babe. I'm proud of you. Thank you. This is a big step, but you did it. And I know you're so big on your boys. And the goal is always to provide our children with a home filled with love. Yes. And the moment I walked in here, I felt it. Thank you. So you have done your job. Thank you. Do you have any children? We don't, girl. Oh, oh, Are you going to have to? Oh, no. How are you? We've been trying. It hasn't been relaxed. Well, you guys just got married. Don't think about it. I feel like I've been relaxed. It's been seven months. So I called the doctor after three months. Like, listen, I need help. So I went and did all my labs and all that stuff. And, like, they said I'm above average, which I usually am in everything. Um, <laughs> Since our interactions last year, you have always made me feel like I matter. I hold you in a very special place. Thank I you. want you to know that. But sometimes, Ashley, it's fair. <laughs> Go ahead. I have questions mm -hmm. with everything that transpired with Deborah. Oh, okay. remember that? Yes. Yeah, I do. So apparently, when Chris was talking okay. to Deborah, I guess Eddie like came over, and the consensus seemed to be that Eddie was like being flirtatious. So they were calling him Happy Eddie. Not Happy Eddie. I really want to feel like I can be like. Ashley, like, that's my girl. I just don't want to feel like if the opportunity presents itself, you will stab me in the back. I respect that. Yeah. I don't want to feel that way. Okay, so number one, part of why you may not see that I am trustworthy fully is because we just don't really spend the time together. Yeah. We haven't really had instances where... We, you know, like kiki and do things, you know, with our kids or whatever. And I, I do. I you Cameron's birthday you party. I know, and that's fair. And yeah. maybe that's where my invitation <laughs> ended because that's where the invitation ended. That's fair. I respect that. I couldn't make that, but I do understand that. And I think that that's one area where we can. And I still, there's so many layers to you that I still want to get to know. Same. I worry that. It makes you feel really guarded about me and maybe the group that you don't necessarily want to share some vulnerable things about yourself, you know? I just want to feel like it's in safe hands. Fair, but do you not want me to tell you things that happen? No, I want you to tell me everything. Okay, because I'm, I'm, I'm not that friend. friend. I'm the friend that But that's what I'm saying, yeah. so that's what I told you, yeah. okay? Yeah. And even though I love her, I knew that that was something that you would want to know. Yeah. Um, I will say that in, in that vein, so... Only because I talked about it with NECA. We just, like, I was talking about you, how esteemed you are, how professional you are, and this and that. I told her you had a, that you were a doctor, and she was like, like, uh, like a medical doctor? Wendy, Dr. Wendy. Wendy and I are Wait, friends. Wait, so Dr. Wendy, is this medical doctor? No, okay. it's a, a PhD. Okay, so Dr. Philosophy. Doctor of Philosophy? Yeah, PhD is Doctor of Philosophy. Okay. Oh, Doctor of Okay. Oh, the way she said, I thought it was a little, she was, I was like, okay. I didn't know that that was no, like, I'm a Doctor be... of Philosophy. What I respect only, it. What only less than 1% of the world has. I respect it immensely. <laughs> yes, I don't have it, so, you know. Mm -hmm. Girl, let me tell you something. I worked hard for my PhD. If it doesn't make her happy, that's on her. But she's going to still address me as Dr. Wendy. You are a lawyer. Your I am. a doctor, right? Yes. So do you practice law? I do practice. I'm in-house counsel for a prominent fintech company. And then I guess, like, there was this article about you or something being, like, Osu or something. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, like, this silly thing. Something had happened where there was some rumor about her family being shunned or something. Is that, like, a common... Thing or did they say why she was being shunned? They are osu cursed or something like that. It's kind of like a group of people who were like offered up to this native or local king. Okay. And those people, like the families that give up their children, are considered osu. Okay. And it's literally been abolished, you know. It's been abolished, it's, so like it's like people still remember and you know don't want to necessarily be associated with it. I don't know if she is. I know I'm not, but I don't know if she is or what's going on there. And she basically was like, "Oh, osu is like terrible." And I was like, "What?" Like the way you told Lindy, it makes it seem like Neko was talking trash about her. 
that's how I remember. I really said it like it was a tequila. Oh, I shouldn't have drank. I had no idea that what that was yeah. at all. Um, Osu is something from like ancient gods in Nigeria. My family is not that. Okay. Right? And it basically is people who are considered outcasts. So the fact that you came to Cameron Sippancy yeah. and you saw all the women with the head ties and all the Nigerian people partying with us, if you're an Osu. The Geles. You... Yeah, the Geles. The Geles. Yes. Yeah, if you're an Osu no one would come to your events. I see. No one would be around you. It's like forbidding. So yes, it is a bad thing, but that's not my name. Okay, good. You're coming into the group and you're bringing up false blog articles. And I would just have expected more, especially from a fellow Nigerian. Listen, you, you heard that. And I, I really found it Actually, I kind of gave a little bit of kudos to production because when the camera crew asked Ashley, they literally confronted her, in my personal opinion, when she was doing her confessional. They were like, you made it seem like NECA was being shady to Wendy when she wasn't. And she's like, well, that's how I remembered it. No, that's how you span it because that is how you operate. Ashley, Giselle, and Robin, they have so many similarities besides their skin tone. It is just deplorable. And to see this chick sitting up in this $2 million house, I mean, honestly, Wendy was giving her more kudos than she deserved because it's like, I'm so proud of you because you always wanted to have like a home for your kids. And, and when I walk in, I, I just like feel like this place is filled with love. Now, if I were to say I disliked anything about Wendy, that would be something because <laughs> I felt like that was her being fake. And there have been instances here, there, not going to lie, even though I like Wendy and I believe she's beautiful, honestly stunning, but I I do recount and recall instances of her being on the show where I just felt like, girl, you're being fake right now. And I, I don't know, you know, sometimes it's that trying to fit in thing, which I do feel that some people with darker skin tones tend to try to do when they don't even really realize it. And this is a true thing when they don't even really realize it when they're around lighter skin black people or maybe even just you're in a crowd with you know other ethnicities and and you stand out so you're just putting on a little bit to make honestly yourself feel a little bit more comfortable as well as make them feel uncomfortable so I felt like she was just being fake right there when she made that statement to Ashley because it's like what is there to be proud of she got married to an old, disgusting creep just to come up. She made sure that she was going to have some children, and she's still married to the man. She refuses to get divorced because that is her security, and they're just, th that's nothing to be proud of. Like, if anyone, sh <laughs> like Wendy should be proud of herself. She has an amazing husband beautiful family they have a looks like a great life i be, i don't have an issue with her trying to figure things out because i do believe that a lot of her career decisions have been based on trying to make her mom proud and happy and she has done that and so she's at a point right now where even though she's still a professor and still doing the commentary um, political commentary she is trying to figure things out and find her way and be like who is Wendy what makes Wendy happy so yeah she can still be proud of her career and like she said you know I'm a doctor of philosophy I worked hard for my degree and she's standing on that and NECA was not being shady when she said doctor philosophy, she was actually just asking Ashley a question. So like, girl, Wendy, consider the source. Ashley is a mess. She's hanging on to that marriage because it's a recession and not just because it's a recession. She's hanging on to that marriage because she's hanging on until he probably kicks the bucket. 
Anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk about that. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Thank you for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.